Today's lesson is on relating percent to decimals and to fractions. Um, and we'll be exploring the relationship between the three. So our objective today is for you to be able to write percents, decimals, and their fraction equivalents. So by the end of the lesson, if I uh, say, what is the decimal equivalent of 41%, you would say, oh, I know that one is 0 0.41. And then I said, if the frac, what's the fraction equivalent of that? You would say, oh, that's 41 over 100. And you can already see without going through any of the lesson that percent, decimals, and fractions are all related. Because look, there's a 41 there, there's a 41 there, there's a 41 there. So just knowing you know, a little bit about what percent means and how to convert it to uh, fractions, you know, you, you'll get it. All right. In order to succeed, you'll have to be able to recognize the place value where the hundredths place is. Also, you'll have to be able to simplify fractions by finding the greatest common factor and, um, and reducing them. All right, so here's the first thing we need to know, and that is the word percent means out of 100. In fact, the word or the part of the word that is per means out of and cent means 100 and so it literally means out of 100 so if we take a look at percent we start to read it right so we read 78 percent as 78 out of 100 so if we want to put that in fraction form it's 78 over 100 so in fractions you know it's 100 pieces make the whole 78 of them are represented in this fraction so it's 78 out of 100 and you know, we've done a little bit of converting uh, fractions to decimals. That's 78 divided by 100, which would leave you at 0 0.78. But really what you can look at here is the fact that uh, if it's 78 out of 100, that 8 part of the 78 is going to end in the hundredths place. All right, so you always have to find the hundredth place in these numbers. And that last digit of the number where it, uh, either some people say it ends there and some say it begins there but um, whatever that last digit is it's going to go in the hundredth place so if we have something like eight uh, percent you know it reads eight out of 100 or eight over 100 but look where the eight is it's in the hundredth place it isn't over here in the tenth place uh, which would make it 80 hundredths. It's in the t uh, hundredth place already, and that's going to be a real key uh, part of the lesson. The other thing we're going to have to do is express our fractions in their simplest form. Uh, this is not going to be a lesson on simplifying fractions. You can go back and watch that video uh, and practice a little bit if you have forgotten it, but it's 78 uh, over 100 equals 39 over 50, 8 over 100 is not in its simplest form, but its reduced form is 2 over 25, and that is in its simplest form. So uh, we're going to be expressing today in their simplest form. All right, here's our first example. Right, we're going to be expressing the shaded area as a percent, a decimal, and a fraction in its simplest form. And the, you know, you can go in any order here. In fact, the first one I think is the easiest is always fraction. So let's take a look at uh, what's going on here. You have a block of 100, and well, let's see how many are shaded in out of 100. There's one row of 10, two rows of 10, three rows of 10, four rows of 10, plus one, two, three, four. That means there's 44 shaded out of 100. So what does percent means? It means out of 100. So I can also write that as 44%. And then the last thing is, how do I write that as a decimal? All right, so it's 44 divided by 100. And you can actually just do that, right? And then what will happen is you'll see that uh, 44 divided by 100 is... 0 0.44 um, but what you can do to, to take a shortcut is say 
uh, from that fraction part, it's 44 out of 100, that last four uh, is going to be in the hundredths place. And so I can build my decimal from that. I would write the number 44 and then put the decimal where uh, it belongs to make that last digit in the hundredths place. Now the only thing that we did not do here is that isn't in its simplest form. So we're going to have to simplify. All right, so that's 4 times 25, and that's 4 times 11. And it looks like 4 is something we can divide by. <clears throat> so in its simplest form, we can write 44 over 100, and then divide each one of those by 4. 44 divided by 4 equals 11. Uh, 100 divided by 4 equals 25. And so in its simplest form is 11 over 25. So even though I started with 44 out of 100 or 44 over 100, uh, I'll at the end come back and simplify that if it can be simplified. So in its simplest form, it's 11 over 25. So the three answers here are 11 over 25, 44%, and 0 0.44. And there's our answer. All right, so let's get out our guided practice. Um, if you have a worksheet, then you can work off that worksheet. What we're going to be doing is the same thing we just did, expressing as a percent decimal and a fraction. So out of 100, and again, it's probably easiest to start with the fraction. Out of 100, how many are shaded in? Well, there's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of 10, which would make 80 shaded in. So 80 out of 100 is our fraction. That's going to equal uh, a percent. Like 80 out of 100 means 80 out of 100. Right? So percent, when you see that symbol in your mind, you, you should be saying out of 100 or over 100. And then the last part of this is that uh, the zero and the eight has to stay, or has to be, or in the eighty, excuse me, has to be in the hundredth place, and so it's eighty percent, or zero point eight zero. Now this fraction here is not in its simplest form, so we have to figure out what is the uh, divider here. So this is eight divided by ten. This is 10 divided by 10, and it looks like uh, we can probably even go even further than that, right? So it's 2 times 4, and then 2 times 2. This is 2 times 5. That's 2 times 5. So the number 80 is 2 times 2 times 2 times uh, 5. That doesn't seem right. Oh, I need one more 2 in there times 2, and then number 100 is 2 times 5 times 2 times 5, or 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. So what is our uh, common factors here? They are uh, 2, 2, and 5. 2 times 2 is 4, times 5 is 20. So if I divide each one of these by 20, I'll get 4 over 5. All right, so there's our um, requirements here. It's a fraction in its simplest form, 4 fifths, 80%, and 0 0.80. So our second guided practice problem, uh, again, you know, going from percent to decimal to fractions or fractions to decimal and, and percent, I just always think the fraction's the easiest one, so I'm going to find the fraction first. And... There's one row of 10, two rows of 10, plus 5, which would equal 25, shaded in out of 100. That's going to equal 25%, because percent means out of 100. And then as a decimal, it's 25 hundredths. Now, this isn't in its simplest form. Uh, the greatest common factor here is actually 25. So if I divided by 25, I would get 100 divided by 25 is 1 fourth. Now what you would do is 
find the greatest common factor. But again, this is not a lesson on simplifying fractions. And so uh, I'm going to leave that one up to you. Here's number three, expressing as a percent decimal and fraction. So let's take a look at how much is expressed here. There's counting the, um, the shaded squares. I have one row of 10, two rows of 10, three, four, five, six, seven rows of 10, plus four more, which is 74 out of uh, 100. That is written as 74%. And now I'm going to write it as a decimal by saying it's 74 hundredths. This is not in its um, simplest form. So uh, the greatest common factor here would be 2. That would be 37 out of 50. Here's our last one. Expressing as a percent, decimal, and fraction equivalent. So here we have a hundred block, but all of them are shaded in. So that is 100 over 100. And so 100 out of 100 equals 100 out of 100, which is the same thing as percent. And then this is the only tricky part now. So it's 100 hundredths. So that last zero has to be in the hundredth place. The next zero is in the tenths place and the one is actually way over here in the ones place so anytime the fraction is over 100 you're going to have a whole number here in your decimal uh, and what is 100 divided by 100 it's one all right some practice going from percent to decimal to fractions or from de decimal to fraction and percent um, Let's take on number five here. So it says 45%. That means 44 or 45 out of 100 or 45 hundredths. And so it's 0 0.45 because that means 45 hundredths right there. Then as a fraction, it is 45 out of 100. Now the greatest common factor here is five. So that would equal nine over 20. Um, you know, starting with the fraction out of 100 is always a good place to start. All right, here we know the decimal, but we don't know the percent or the fraction. And so the decimal means 22 hundredths, and as a fraction, it's 22 hundredths, right? And then as a percent, that's 22 out of 100, or 22%. Now this isn't in its simplest form, the greatest common factor is 2, so that's 11 out of 50. Now here's our number uh, 7, and we have a fraction of 31 out of 100, or 31 over 100. So I know as a percent, it's 31 percent, because percent means over 100 or out of 100. 31 over 100 is the same thing over here, and then as a decimal, it's 31 hundredths. And so it's 0 0.31, and the 1 has to be in the hundredths place, and it is. All right, the last one is 122%. Now, as a fraction, that would look like this, 122 over 100. Now, as a decimal, that last 2 has to be in the hundredths place. And so it's 2... Two, the decimal goes there and it's 1. 1 1.22 is the decimal equivalent of 122%. This is 1 and 11 over 50 is the final um, simplified fraction there. Right. Again, you know how to simplify fractions and so uh, you'll have to go through the full process instead of just seeing the answers. All right, the last thing is, uh, what are we going to be doing for our work? Well, we're going to be working out of the homework book, and that is H12-7. We're going to do problems 1 through 13. Uh, number 12 and number 13 uh, take a little bit of careful reading to do. So, um, you know, take your time and, and get all those um, taken care of thoroughly. And then remember, the decimal equivalents begin in the hundredths place. 
So if it's something like 101%, that last one has to be in the one hundred or the hundredths place. So it's one, zero, and one, and then the decimal will go there because that would make that one in the hundredths place. And that's the only thing that really is tricky about this lesson. All right, good luck.